Yeah, then this is a message to all my LinkedIn friends and family, followers and all that stuff about the fight tonight. I've been asked, loads of people send me messages, me and bots asking me why things are gonna happen. And we've got Anthony Joshua, the champ, the main man, the one of two, him and Tyson Fury, who many believe is the best in the world. And he's got himself a challenger, he's got himself an undisputed cruiserweight champion, someone who is a southpaw, someone who's an Olympic gold medalist, who doesn't know what it's like to lose, hasn't tasted defeat. He's coming in and he can be the third man in history behind myself and my idol, Evander the Real Deal Holyfield, to become both cruiserweight champ and then move up to heavyweight, become heavyweight champ. He's got, he's, got his, he's got his work cut out for him. But many people really, really fancy Usyk. They say, oh, if, if Andrew Joshua lost to Andrews Jr., who stylistically is not even close to Usyk, you know, what happens if Usyk lands those early shots and gets them out of his rhythm? I understand that. I see where they're coming from. But I take into account Usyk's last couple of outings at heavyweight. You know, the Chad Witherspoon wasn't that impressed. His fight against uh, Tony Bellew, I fight, I fight, I thought Tony Bellew was comfortably winning. And the fight that if Tony Bellew was able to go for a training camp like, he'd, like he could have done a few years ago, it, there could have been a very, very different outcome. He was in control. I know, he knows he was in control of the fight. I could see it, you could all see it. He just unfortunately was at an age where he couldn't maintain that. And what happens, happens. So looking at that performance, a solid victory. If you look at it on paper, knock Tony Bellew out, highlight real stuff, it's fantastic. But what happened prior to that? Chad Witherspoon. This guy was coming straight from the car showroom. He, he's not a, he was no longer a professional boxer. He was out of the ring for so many, he wasn't expected to fight. And bam, with less than a week's notice, turns up completely out of shape. And there's a handful, and, and Usyk struggled through it. He won the fight, but he, he, he didn't, wasn't conclusive. He wanted to a real, he wanted to show people what he had. Then he had another opportunity. I thought this, this is why I believe Usyk is the man, because he said, "I want Derek Chisora." So he wants to make a, he wants to make a statement. He wanted to make a statement. He really did. It was a close fight. I thought, I thought he lost. I was sitting with his team. They had Usyk losing. Two of the judges by two rounds, which meant one more round that Chisora would have won one of those close rounds. Title would have been the draw. Derek would have retained his title. Usyk would have taken his, his uh, international title, wherever he had. Things would have been different. But once again, it was a victory. Good victory. Derek Chisora, very respectable um, on paper. No problem. How comfortable was that? It was very uncomfortable. I was there. He was, he, it was life and death for him in there. Now he's stepping up. He's stepping up to the plate in a big, big way against Andy Joshua. He hasn't shown me yet anything in his last four fights that suggests he can beat Anthony Joshua. Nothing in his last four fights. Forget about his prior history, Olympic gold medal, all them belts at cruiserweight. At heavyweight against the big boys, what has his record been so far? It's been a winning one, but how devastating did he look doing it? In my opinion, not very devastating. He's straight through all of them. So he's gonna need to do something so much better than he did in those fights to beat Anthony Joshua. So much more than he's done before. I haven't seen it yet. Maybe there's way more in there that we haven't seen, but this is where we'll find out. If if Yusuf can beat Anthony Joshua, that's 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 it. For me, he's up there. He's up there with Evander Holyfield. If he can do this, that's how big this victory is for him. And um, I hope you guys tune in. Sky Box Office. It's gonna be a fight, honestly. I think this is the fight where Anthony Joshua shows everybody exactly how the heavyweight situation should look. He's gonna deal with this guy, this skillful guy, this undisputed champion, this number one ranked contender. 
He's gonna show you why he is number one. Excited, buzzing for it. Wish I could be there, but I'm somewhere else at the moment. So, so my LinkedIn family, here you go. A little message from the Haymaker. Have a great evening, enjoy the fight. Don't miss it.